Uh, this is an OG name. I, I don't think we've discussed it any, or at least recently. Can't get more boring than this. And that's Kraft Heinz Company, ticker symbol KHC. And correct me if I'm wrong, they're not just ketchup, right? It's like a bunch no. of brands, no. on, like the mac and cheese are in there as well. Yeah, I mean, it's Kraft Heinz, uh, just about anything. And it's funny, when you go to the grocery store, there's been so much merging and acquisitions. You think you might be getting a small local brand, especially with these organics. But there's really like three or four names, and they go and they buy up these small companies left and right. So, yeah, Kraft Heinz has, I think last time I looked, like 30 or 40 brand names that you might think, is a local farm or something, but it's just part of the Kraft Heinz family. Um, you know, groceries, boring as can be, premium sellers, heaven, right? And I, I, I draw attention to this one. This one is um, full of fun adjustments. So if I were to draw, remember, premium selling is all about range bound option trading strategies. And what I would do here, and this is a lesson I give some of my program participants, but you want to kind of identify your range, right? Where you have the most touches of support and resistance, not at the outliers. So that's a common mistake. Some people would say, oh, this must be support and up here must be resistance. And in reality, what I'm looking at is more of like this $35 and 75 cent range and uh, this $37 and 75 cent range. So really this $2 range is where the majority of price action happens. And then we pop out every once in a while. So we're out right now, but we're reversing up. And this is a great opportunity to pick up some of this stock at bargain basement prices. Now, I'm not going to do that until I get my reversal signal. But when I get my reversal signal, and my reversal signal includes an end of day signal, something that I can quickly go through my watch list and Kraft Heinz Corporation or company is on my watch list. And I can see every evening when I'm scanning through it after my toddler has gone to sleep, which ones have given me signals. The ones that give me signals, I'm then going to look for follow through on the next trading day, right? So the signal, the end of day signal just signals me to look for the completion of the signal during the next or subsequent trading day. So when I get that signal, the end of day signal and the subsequent follow through signal, uh, I'm going to be buying a bunch of this, whether I buy the stock or whether I buy a substitute option, and I found a really nice substitute option that I'm interested in. It's this 2750 call. So let me bring you over to the option chain. Um, I'm going out to the January 2025 leap. Let's get this down here so you guys can see this better. And I'm very much interested in this 2750 call right here. Currently, it's trading at about $7.60 per option share. So whether I decide to buy the stock, which is currently trading at about $34.90, or I buy this substitute option, uh, they would both do the same thing. The substitute, the actual stock might be interesting to me simply because um, this stock pays really nice dividends. So if I want to make a, a like a, a bonus income stream off of it, owning the stock would pay me some nice dividends, right? And it looks like a dividend is coming. I may not have the stock in my holding long enough to get this particular dividend, but that dividend looks pretty consistent at 40 cents a share. So that might be a reason to own the stock. Otherwise, you know, if you want to go with leverage, you could buy that back month option. And then we basically wait right? You let this thing do what it's going to do. And when we get to the next reversal, so long as the reversal is under $38.50, I'm going to turn this into one of my income trades. I'm going to go ahead and sell a call, you know, sell call options against it. 
and I'm going to buy some protective puts. And I'd probably even buy protective puts at the $35 range, even though uh, 35 or, you know, maybe not 3750 35 And so they'll be dirt cheap. They'll provide protection. And they'll also give me some appreciation uh, when the stock starts to reverse against me. So all of these benefits, I mean, this is like a premium seller's trade made in heaven. Yeah, there's a lot to like in this setup. And um, I guess we're waiting for the next bar to close, right? Because it looks like you could get your indicator could, you know, uh, produce a buy signal, which would only help validate the rest of your analysis. Absolutely. So when I get, you know, tonight might be the night. Uh, I'll be, I've got two different of my indicators on here. So let me, you know, it's funny. I, I tell my traders, my, the people who are in my program, don't confuse your charts by having too many indicators. And here I am confusing my chart. I would use like, uh, I, I've now got, and these are all those free indicators you, you told people to go download. I've got my fast MACD indicator on right now. So I'm waiting for one of these light blue arrows to show up to tell me to buy some of this Kraft Heinz com company at this bottom. And I'm all for it, man. Yeah. And it's, it seems as if you're not in a rush. Like it's not one of those trades where it's like, oh, I needed to uh, run up right away. Like you could wait it out and, yep. and, and, and opportunities to present itself. And then, Kraft Heinz just as a business is pretty staple. I mean, we're or, or stable. We're talking People about going to eat food, right? We're talking about food. And then even if the economy, you know, it's People not got to eat. Yeah. You're not getting all that technology chop where there's an AI, this and a, a new semiconductor that, that that'll, you know, influence the market. So uh, definitely a nice name for one of those portfolio, you know, keep it in staple. there. Staple. It's a staple for your portfolio. I really like this. Uh, I'm I'm going to load up on some of this. Uh, again, whether I buy the stock or whether I buy the back month call option, here and or there, depends on if I want to keep this in my portfolio for a while. But you could turn this into a, a fantastic income trade. Every time that there's an expiration, you get a payday off of this one. So I would tell everybody to put this on their list. And like you said, I mean, one of the benefits of premium selling SIP is the timing doesn't have to be spot on, right? You could be off a day or two and it's not going to hurt your economics of your position, anything. It's not like where you have to be up at 1 a.m. in the morning for like a particular Forex trade. Otherwise, you miss the opportunity. That's not what we have here. We just have to get it, you know, south of this center zone and north of that center zone. And you're going to basically sway the position in your benefit.